Good morning. It is 6.19 a.m. on <laughs> Tuesday, November 3rd, 2015. Luna is running around like a crazy dog. Good girl, good girl. Are you a good puppy? Are you a good puppy? Yes, you are. She is extra excited because we just got back from a longer than usual morning walk. I was very pleased to discover, uh, figure out that um, I don't have to wait that much later to do her walk. <laughs> She's running. <again. laughs> don't have to wait much, that much later to do the walk, um, and then it'll be light enough to see. And they make such a huge difference because the uh, there's. Good girl. Uh, the path that runs along the river right here near my building is the best place to walk her, uh, but not when it's dark. So discovering that if I adjust my schedule a little bit so that her taking her out is just slightly later in the rotation, um, that means I can do that walk, which we'll have to see how well that works as the sunrise gets later and later, you know, as the year progresses, because, you know, you don't want to keep her waiting if she really needs to go just for that reason. But, you know, we'll figure it out. Um, so anyway, that was a pleasant discovery. Um, I've also uh, yesterday discovered the grocery store where I'm probably going to do the most of my shopping. Uh, it's pretty nearby. We'll have to drive there compared to my previous place, but you know, that's kind of what I was always used to before just this last year. And it's fine because it's just like a two minute drive down the road from a place, which is... And I actually realized that there are um, two other things that I noticed on my way there is that there's a smaller fancier grocery store also on the way and also a thrift store which is the place where I would need to go to donate things so um, I haven't been to that thrift store yet but you know if I have stuff that I feel like I want to give away and don't want to just put in the dumpster maybe the thrift shop is the place to go could be boy I'm kind of in a whew, weird um, I haven't figured out my my uh, thermostat yet. It's still weirding me out a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's all good. These things will come in time. Uh, Mike and I recorded our talking about Survivor last night, so I'm going to try to get that audio posted before work. Um, what else? Uh, I don't know. My cable is still not working, so... In some ways, uh, you know, like it's just there's that feels like sort of one last thing left undone. Of course, I say one last thing. I still have lots of unpacking to do. But I, you know, just driving home from work yesterday, driving, you know, here to the new place, you know, I put on some uh, uh, music and I was just feeling good. Like, you know, it's now like this. This move has been stressing me out so much, and, you know, even just over time, you know, when it wasn't anything to do yet, but it's just like knowing I was going to have to, it's just like this weight on me. And to some extent, that that's lifting a bit now, so that's nice. Um, and, you know, I, I remain committed, like I said yesterday, that I need to try to start proactively planning for some new, better morning routines, um, or, you know, not just morning routines, but exercise, you know, that, you know, good habits, developing good habits, right? Um, it's hard to know when those can start because I'm still kind of in a mode where, like, every 15 minutes or so, I'm going to have to say, oh, wait, I need this thing. Where is that? It's in a box somewhere. Let me find it. And then, you know, half an hour goes by and I haven't done whatever I was originally going to do, but I've accomplished three other things. So we'll see how all that goes, but in the meantime, 
feeling pretty good about my move. Thumbs up so far. All right, I will talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes.